Numbers chapter 10 Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Make two trumpets of silver. You shall make them of beaten work. You shall use them for the calling of the congregation and for the journeying of the camps. When they blow them, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the door of the tent of meeting. If they blow just once, then the princes, the heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves to you. When you blow an alarm, the camps that lie on the east side shall go forward. When you blow an alarm the second time, the camps that lie on the south side shall go forward. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow, but you shall not sound an alarm. The sons of Aaron the priest shall blow the trumpets. This shall be to you for a statue forever throughout your generations. When you go to war in your land against the adversary who oppresses you, then you shall sound an alarm with the trumpets. Then you will be remembered before Yahweh your Elohim, and you will be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness and in your set feast, and in the beginnings of your months, you shall blow the trumpets over your burnt offerings and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, and they shall be to you for a memorial before your Elohim. I am Yahweh your Elohim. In the second year, in the second month, on the twentieth day of the month, the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle of the testimony. The children of Israel went forward according to their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud stayed in the wilderness of Paran. They first went forward according to the commandment of Yahweh by Moses. First the standard of the camp of the children of Judah went forward according to their armies. Nation, the son of Aminadab, was over his army. Nathanael, the son of Zuar, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Issachar. Eliab, the son of Helon, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Zebulun. The tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari, who bore the tabernacle, went forward. The standard of the camp of Reuben went forward according to their armies. Eliezer, the son of Shadur, was over his army. Elumiel, the son of Jerishadai, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Simeon. Eliasaph, the son of Deuel, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Gad. Kohathites set forward, bearing the sanctuary. The others set up a tabernacle before they arrived. The standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies. Elisham, the son of Amihad, was over his army. Gamaliel, the son of Hadazer, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Manasseh. Abidon, the son of Gideonai, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Benjamin. The standard of the camp of the children of Dan, which was the rear guard of all the camps, set forward according to their armies. Ahiezer, the son of Amishadai, was over his army. Pagio, the son of Akran, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Asher. Ahira, the son of Enan, was over the army of the tribe of the children of Naphtali. Thus were the travels of the children of Israel according to their armies, and they went forward. Moses said to Hobab, the son of Reuel the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are journeying to the place of which Yahweh said, I will give it to you. Come with us, and we will treat you well. But Yahweh has spoken good concerning Israel. He said to him, I will not go. But I will depart to my own land and to my relatives. He said, Don't leave us, please, because you know how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and you can be our eyes. It shall be, if you go with us, yes, it shall be, that whatever good Yahweh does to us, we will do the same to you. They set forward from the mount of Yahweh three days' journey. The ark of Yahweh's covenant went before them three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of Yahweh was over them by day when they set forward from the camp. When the ark went forward, Moses said, Rise up, Yahweh, and let your enemies be scattered. Let those who hate you flee before you. When it rested, he said, Return, Yahweh, to the ten thousands of the thousands of Israel.